you've written your very own Python functions using the def keyword, function headers, doc strings, and function bodies. There's a quicker way to write functions on the fly, and these are called lambda functions because you use the keyword lambda. Here, we rewrite our function raised to power as a lambda function. To do so, after the keyword lambda, we specify the names of the arguments. Then we use a colon, followed by the expression that specifies what we wish the function to return. Lambda functions allow you to write functions in a quick and potentially dirty way, so I wouldn't advise you to use them all the time, but there are situations when they come in very handy. For example, check out the map function, which takes two arguments, a function and a sequence such as a list, and applies the function over all elements of the sequence. We can pass lambda functions to map without even naming them, and in this case, we refer to them as anonymous functions. In this example, we use map on a lambda function that squares all elements of a list and will store the results in square all. Printing square all reveals that it is actually a map object. So to see what it contains, we use the function list to turn it into a list and print the results to the shell. As expected, it's a list containing the squares of the elements in the original list. In the following interactive exercises, you'll become a boss at writing Lambda functions and see a number of other cool uses for them. Get hacking.